Recent peaceful democratic transitions of power in Nigeria, Ghana and Benin are considered examples for other African nations. Kenya will hold its general election in August and Liberia in October. But it's less likely the Democratic Republic of Congo will hold its planned elections this year. This week, the DRC's opposition group, Le Rassemblement, accused the country's electoral commission president of declaring war on the Congolese people by announcing that elections promised to be held by the end of this year probably will not take place. DRC's president, Joseph Kabila, was allowed to stay in power until late 2017 under a transition deal as long as elections were held by the end of this year. The U.S. insists that the agreement be fulfilled. We are ready to take additional action to sanction those who stand in the way of the DRC's first democratic transition of power. Last month in Pretoria, Kabila insisted his goal is to hold elections. Let's organize elections together uh, as a nation, together as political parties, civil society. And we still have that objective in mind. But more than just holding elections, Kabila has to go, according to a DRC social okay, activist. Elections. But the main problem actually for the, the DRC case is not not having election this year. It's getting the president to clearly say he's not going to uh, stay run again uh, for the next term. Because the agreement says they agreed. He's not going to be a candidate, but he never said it clearly. Elections should be viewed as part of the peace-building process, not as a goal in themselves, says democracy advocate Elizabeth Lewis. She says Africa has models to emulate. I think Kenya is an example where kind of this look at broad-based constitutional and legal reform was a positive step. As some countries face deadlocks and others' processes move along, a word of wisdom from a leading scholar. We understand that elections do not by themselves a democracy make. However, they play a critical role. And free and fair elections play an essential role in sustaining democratic processes. Maria Magalu, VOA News, Washington.